Good morning everyone, it's Tim Wilde here and uh, it's been a while since I've done a video and tuned in and said hello to everybody via a camera. I've been writing a lot of blogs, so I've been writing, putting a lot of information via my keyboard out there, which was what I've intuitively been feeling the urge to do. I think there's some, there seems to be something a, a little bit more kind of immortal about words as opposed to videos, although videos go a lot further on social media. So I'm going to be starting to tune in now on a regular basis and sharing my insights and the current energies, which have been really, really through the roof recently. For those of you following my Tim Wilde Practical Ascension page, you'll notice that I'm like a lot of other light workers that, that kind of post regularly been focusing on the Schumann resonance of the planet. Now the Schumann resonance is only a very small measurement of what is actually occurring on an energy level <clears throat> but it seems to be quite an accurate one. When, um, when the Schumann resonance rises from its base frequency of 7.83 over the months it's been kind of creeping up it will do 30 hertz it'll go up to 40 hertz and 50 but the other day it spiked at 110, <laughs> which is incredibly high. And it didn't just spike, it sustained it for a period of time. Now you can find some very good information about the Schumann Resonance on several, several sites that I've been following. The first one is DisclosedTV.com and they have got the archives for the entire year. So if you want to know what was going on with the Schumann Resonance in January and February, you go to the archive section on their website. I'll include a link later on in this video to take you, take you to this website. And you can actually see for the entire month what the Schumann Resonance has been doing and March, April and, and so forth. Now, there are many factors to the Schumann. The Schumann resonance is just one that is easy to measure, but it has my attention simply because it affects me physically. Okay, when the Schumann resonance spikes above its its base level of 7.83, my ears start to ring and I start to feel physical symptoms. And by the look of it out there in the world of social media, so do a lot of other people. <coughs> when it goes above a certain level, when it goes to 40 hertz, 50 hertz and above, I have to actually really readjust how I'm thinking, how I'm operating and how I am controlling the biosphere of my reality, which tells me that that human resonance is spiking at a higher frequency. Initially, I asked the question, could this be occurring because there are um, EMF thing you know a lot I know a lot of you are concerned about 5g at the moment is it because they're testing 5g is it because there are things that are actually interfering with the, the magnetics of this planet that aren't particularly positive and the answer that I got is is no very clearly because I, I, I asked Archangel Metatron I said why does this make my head feel like I'm being microwaved why why is the why is it so difficult to function just on an everyday level when the Schumann resonance rises so high and he took me back to a memory that I had in 2014 um, when we had a solar eclipse the spring equinox and I, I, I think it was a full moon or a new moon at the time I can't remember exactly but my point of focus was this Lyran Stargate at the time the Lyran Stargate opened and connected our planet directly into Archangel Crystal's energy and also opened up the gateway for a lot of unicorns to come into the planet. And I can remember the following day my head feeling like I just couldn't function properly, like I couldn't think, I, uh, it was difficult to even send messages or, or you know, like, oh, do I really have to get in the car and drive? And he reminded me that, that I felt exactly the same then when the frequency had jumped very quickly as I do now. So these human resonances, even though they are just a measurement of um, a planetary vibration on a, on a very low level, the, the ionosphere, I think um, it's an indication that the frequency is spiking high. We're moving well out of that 3D blueprint, that, that template that we've been living in for a long time and that we're shifting out of. And the way I see it is it's, it's 
almost forcing us to readjust our thinking to a higher level because I'm only comfortable when I start thinking very, very positively in these, in these kind of spike windows. So say the other day when the Schumann resonance went from <laughs> 8, 9 or 10 up to 110 very, very quickly. First of all, I felt it in my ears. Then I started to feel it as a pressure in my head. Physically, I felt like I was disassociated with the, with the, with literally my reality around me. So I started calling in the gold ray of Christ. I started calling in the violet flame. I purified my thinking process. <coughs> Excuse me. I purified my thinking process so that I was thinking positive thoughts only. And all of a sudden, this came became comfortable. I found it was very easy to create positive, it was very easy to create to the, to, to the high frequency energies. But as soon as I started thinking um, a, a lower frequency train of thought, like, oh God, I've got to go to the post office, or I really, I, or, you know, I really don't want to have to drive there but, um, because of the way my head is feeling, the, it's almost like that train of thought, the lower frequency train of thought, has conflicted with the frequency around me. and and created a almost like a standoff of, of the energies. Now this is happening on a regular basis. My analysis of it is is this this is training us to be thinking positively at a higher frequency. So every time the Schumann resonance jumps, we readjust our thinking to be thinking in alignment with 5D. Now I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I am holier than thou and that I think beautiful, positive, pure thoughts all of the time. I'm a human being. I have four children. I have a family, and I'm sometimes I'm not I'm not thinking five D thoughts. I'm thinking kind of stressed dad thoughts. So it's what it's doing. It's showing me where the holes in my kind of my my everyday thinking are. And this, I believe, will work for you as well. If these kind of periods of time are occurring where everything suddenly kind of feels like it's very pressurised, like, you know, and you might get physical symptoms where your ears are ringing or you're actually feeling it physically in your body. Some people report nausea when the Schumann resonance spikes. Realign your thinking. Ground yourself drink plenty of water, focus on mantras if, if your train of thought is difficult to get into something positive, call in the gold ray of Christ, call in the violet flame, call in Archangel Gabriel or Archangel Michael, just focus on something that brings you into alignment with 5D and watch how you feel after that. Okay, now the Schumann resonance, like I said, is just a really small part of what's going on at the moment. We've got, I believe, either five or six major planets in retrograde. I personally love my Mercury retrogrades. I'm sorry, but I was born in one, so it's probably the nine weeks of the year where I actually feel like I can function normally. Um, obviously, you know that, that every time we get a Mercury retrograde, they last for three weeks, and there's three of them over the course of the solar cycle. So those nine weeks are quite comfortable for me. Um, but for everybody else, they, they seem to cause a few kind of, a few upsets or a few few kind of setbacks. But just we should be honouring these planetary alignments at the moment, and what what the stars are doing and what our world is doing, instead of kind of like getting on our back feet and going, oh my God, what am I what am I due for now? They are all to put us in an alignment with 5D. Now a lot of us aren't in that state of alignment on a permanent basis. But over the course of the next few months, the years, you know, moving on to 2032, which is our target date, these alignments are going to become more regular. The spikes in frequency are going to become regular until we are basically acclimatised to this new frequency that is around us. So what have we got going on at the moment? Well, at the moment, we are we have moved into... Um, on the 7th of July we moved into the Sirius alignment portal which is where the great, so the, the, great, the great central sun of Sirius aligns directly with our planet creating a very powerful portal of light. Okay, Now do what you will with this energy 
It's an amazing opportunity to raise your own light, raise your own frequency, connect with Sirius, which a lot of us are very, very close to because we've trained in the in the Syrian universities at night time and I know I, I still am. So Lord Kathumi would be very happy to guide you if you if you want to know more about the the, the, the Sirius alignment at the moment and this this huge pulse of energy that's coming in. Lord Kathumi is is working with all of the students of this planet. So and most of us are students still. There's very few people that could probably say, I'm the master now, I've got nothing more to learn because that, that's not that's not the way it that's not the way it works. We're always learning, we're always evolving, <coughs> we're always moving on from, from the kind of the spiritual platform that we were already on. So at the end of the Sirius alignment, we then move into the Lion's Gate. Now the Lion's Gate begins basically, as far as I can see, when the sun moves into Leo. It officially starts on the 1st of August, but for the astrologers out there, you will know that the sun moves into Leo on around the 21st or the 22nd of July. So that's your window. That's when the energy starts building. <coughs> and just the only way that I can say is be prepared for this energy but not in a kind of like oh my god what am I what am I going to what's happening to me what am I going to receive there, there is one way through this at the moment and that is retain your vibration retain your light keep your vibe high clear and as pure as you possibly can all the time we're all being tested there are things around us that are deliberately trying to challenge our light trying to move us into a uh, into a lower frequency state but the reality of it is it's actually more difficult to exist on this planet in a low vibration now than it is in a high vibration and this is becoming more so this is why in in my in my analysis of what's occurring why the a move into 5D is completely inevitable because we're not living on a 3D planet anymore. The options for 3D living, 3D mentality, the division, the polarity, the, all, all of the things that we're witnessing coming to a head at the moment, these, these doors are being closed energetically. Okay. Now it might not look like it's a, it's a very happy picture out there at the moment. It's because everything is being kind of bought, it's, it's being microwaved by these energies i like the word microwave because i feel like i'm being microwaved on a daily basis everything is being cooked so intensely it's becoming impossible to go back okay but the the behavior patterns the things that we have been seeing for ten thousand years they're all coming to a peak so this is, you know, you'll, you'll, you've heard me talk about it before. You'll see these behaviour patterns spiking. You'll see people kind of unravelling political situations, unravelling like things around you that that seem to be kind of very threatening, but in actual fact, will eventually fall into alignment simply because they have no option of kind of going back to the previous blueprint. Okay, so positivity 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 and i don't mean that in a fluffy way i mean that in a thinking positively and creating positively for yourself and for the people around you alignment with the 5d energies is a is a process of discipline okay you've got to be disciplined with it there's no kind of dodging the bullet there's no there's no magic wand or easy way of doing this to think positively create positively all the time is extremely challenging because we are human beings and we're still living in a, in a in a dimension of polarity so allow yourself a bit of rope a little bit of space but the majority of the time we are being given these these windows these resonance windows in order to start training our our mental bodies our emotional bodies to operate at a higher frequency on a regular basis okay so this is this is my my sharing with you now. This is the way that I'm seeing things operate, and this is what works for me. So keep a positive focus. Okay, you're going to be challenged. There's initiations. There's there's frequency jumps, and the frequency jumps are there to help us. They are there to put us in alignment with Source. They're there to put us in alignment with our higher selves. Start your day by grounding. Ground your energy into into your Earth star. 
if you want to go a little bit further, anchor that energy into hollow earth, into Serapis Bay's golden pyramid, and then call in a pillar of light from, from the great central sun, from whatever star or planet or dimensional space that you are most aligned to, and just feel that column of light coming down, aligning you, moving through your chakras, the stellar gateway, all the way down to the earth star, and hold yourself in that light for 30 seconds or so. This, this is simply to start your day, puts you in immediate alignment with, with the highest frequencies that are around you. And then the simple things in life are serving us at the moment. Connect with nature, walk outside barefoot. It's summertime in England, I spend a lot of time trotting around barefoot. And um, make sure your feet touch the grass kind of go, go for long walks, do things that create that simple happiness within you. And spiritual practice, get a spiritual routine. Like I said, wake up in the morning and make your first thoughts focused on raising your energy. When you step out of the house, when you go to do something, open your fifth dimensional heart and just have the intention of shining your light to everybody else around you. That alone will immediately put you into a bandwidth of energy that is no longer kind of at, at, at kind of disharmony with the frequencies around you. And you will find very rapidly that everything else kind of clicks into place and rises to your frequency rather than you having to defend yourself from the low vibe stuff. So that's my sharing for now, but I hope you are all enjoying the energies in whatever way. It's a learning process. We're, we're rapidly having to adjust. And, and as I receive more information, as I get more updates, I will be sharing with you, with you regularly. Anyway, lots of love to you all. If you want to know more, um, visit my website, timwild.com, or my Ascension page on Facebook, Tim Wild Practical Ascension. For information, and I mean really good information about the Schumann Resonance, visit in5d.com or disclosetv.com. I'll put the links on, on this a little bit later on when I upload it to YouTube. And I'm sending you lots of love. Diana Cooper and I are doing a very informative Zoom on the 4th of August, which will be talking about these current energies and how to create very positively within them. You'll be getting some very good guidance from the pair of us on how to deal with these energies and how to create positively. And this will become easier. <laughs> it will become easier because we're masters and this is what we're here to do. So sending you lots of love and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.